Hi, welcome today. Uh, this video, I want to talk about uh, the concept of torque. So I want to talk about this concept of torque. Um, now, I am talking about torque measured in Newton meters. So I'm talking in uh, what would be like the worldwide standard, except for in the United States, right? So in the United States, they would use foot pounds. Uh, I'm in here in Canada, and in Canada, we use Newton meters when we're talking about torque. So now there's a couple terms that go kind of hand in hand with torque, uh, but we want to think about it as a rotational force. How much rotational force, right? So it involves a spinning action and a force, right? Uh, we're going to talk about uh, where that term Newton meters comes from and what is the two factors that are going to apply towards it. So when we're talking about torque and we're talking about taking an object, so I like to use this, uh, you know, bolt and a wrench. Uh, really good one as well is a door on hinges, right? Uh, so when I'm talking about this torque and I'm going to basically, what I'm going to do as the mechanic, electrician, whatever, it doesn't matter, as the human or machine, I guess, involved here, I'm going to apply a force. Right, so I'm going to apply a force onto that wrench. You know, in this case, I'm pushing up, trying to get it to spin counterclockwise. So I'm going to apply a specific amount of force. Now my force is actually measured in newtons or n. Uh, right, so I'm going to apply my force in newtons. Now where that comes in is here I would have a center point, right? And where I apply that force, this is called my marker here. This right here would be called my radius. Right? Sometimes you could hear it called a moment arm. Um, I don't call it that. But so that would be my radius, right? And my radius, this is going to be in meters or meters, right, M. So I know this, it's, it's, now we're talking a huge wrench, obviously, if we're talking meters, but this is where my torque comes from. So the, the distance from my uh, pivot point out is called my radius. The actual force that I'm applying is my force. Now this is where I like to think about that door situation, right? If I'm walking along, my door hinge is close, the further away I am, the less hard it is to open that door, right? That's why we always push, you know, where the handle is. We don't push right where the hinges are, right? So we can apply a less force in order to open that door, right? Uh, so how this kind of works out is we, our force, or sorry, our torque, our torque is a, a product of our force times our radius, right? So torque is force times radius. So now taking that into account, hypothetically, if we had a, a force, you know, of 10 newtons, and we had a radius of, let's say, 500 millimeters, we would take that, we would punch it into our formula, we would go 10 newtons times and now we need to convert this into meters because our radius is in meters. So in this case, it would be 0 0.5 meters. We can punch that in and we would have a force of five Newton meters. So that's how we would calculate that value. And of course we can transpose this formula to get any other values, uh, which if you're looking to rearrange that formula, check out my other video on transposing up here. Um, to help rework formulas, but that's the basis of torque. Now, um, or this rotational force, right? Or moment of force that we are applying. Uh, now, in order to measure torque, right? This is how you would calculate torque if you have your, your Newtons or your and your radius and you wanna calculate torque. In order to measure torque, right? If we're talking with using equipment and measuring torque, we have two options to measure torque. Measure. Uh, in the olden days, uh, we would have used an object called a prony brake. 
right? So prony brake was a belt looped around a shaft, right? And it would have a set screw and it would have a set screw which would tighten until it stops, which is a prony brake. So it's an older school method. Uh, nowadays we use a dynamometer and a dynamometer is just a digital torque measuring device, right? If you have a digital um, torque wrench, it's using a dynamometer. Whereas the old school spring click would be, you know, a prony brake. You set it to what you want and you push until it clicks and that's it basically having that force, right? Um, so I hope this video was helpful. Just kind of talking about torque. Again, we're talking about it in Newton meters, uh, but the concept is very similar, right? Uh, and again, one thing to remember, right, is we're applying a torque to this wrench. What the bolt here is doing, the bolt is providing a counter torque is what we call it. So in order to get that bolt to actually spin, we need to overcome the counter torque that that bolt is providing, right? So if our torque is greater than the counter torque, then it's gonna start to spin. As long as that counter torque is greater, I'm never gonna spin it, right? I have to overcome that value. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope this helped. Uh, please like and subscribe and take a look at the other videos.